I have downloaded already the exact same image. So if I jump over here to the Odroid XU4Q, I'm going to see the exact same thing in my downloads. There they are. So a couple of differences in the operating system. Obviously, the Raspberry Pi Raspbian just gives me a thumbnail, kind of like Circa Windows 98, um, whereas this is more like a... It's a full operating system with, I can see the actual preview of the image. So what I want to do is I want to right click and I'm going to hover over opening it with the GIMP GNU image manipulation program. I'm going to do that on the Raspberry Pi as well. And then we're going to go side by side and just see how they compare as far as speed goes to load this up in the GNU image manipulation program. So as long as I don't bump the mouse and click in three, two, one. The battle of the SBCs begins. <laughs> Odroid XU4Q came up quicker and started loading. Pretty much identical. Yeah, I would say identical. Even though the screen seemed to come up quicker on the Odroid. They finished um, loading at they, the same time. Exactly, the image was in. One of the things that uh, I do need to address with the Odroid XU4Q is you'll see that I've got some strange, um, like the backgrounds here are all blue. Um, that's like the theme of, of the operating system. I've just got to fix that on the Raspberry Pi out of the box. It looks nicer. Um, whether or not that's an issue, couldn't tell you. Don't think so. All right, let's go. We're going to right click and we're going to try something here. Uh, I want to do a scaling operation. So usually um, scaling is a pretty intensive thing to do. That's like increasing or, de you know, changing the size of an image. So <clears throat> on my XU4Q, I'm going to go scale image and I'm going to set the height to 8,000 pixels and we're going to use 72 DPI and cubic interpolation. It's important to note these things because we want it to be an exact side-by-side, head-to-head comparison. We want to set the settings mm -hmm. exactly the same on For the sure. Raspberry Pi 3. So over here on the Raspberry Pi 3, image, scale image, again, 8,000 pixels height, 72 DPI, cubic interpolation. And I'm going to click scale because it's prompting me, are you sure you want to create this image? I'm going to do the same thing over here and we're going to be prepared then uh, to begin working. You'll see that each one says it's going to be 896.3 megabytes. So on the Raspberry Pi, I'm going to hover over scale. And on the Odroid XU4Q, I'm already hovering over scale. So if we're ready, you want to do the countdown with the drum roll? <laughs> Three, two, <laughs> one, click. Okay, the Odroid XU4Q is moving. I can see that kind of down at the bottom there. You see that progress indicator? It's a little mm -hmm. more significant as far as speed goes to the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi's doing it though. This is a great opportunity for us to have a sip of our coffee <laughs> and for you to just stare at that progress indicator. Yeah, we need some suspenseful music here, I think. Here we go. <laughs> it's real time, folks. Keep in mind, this is a heavy operation on any system, so that th this is a, even happening on single board computers just shows how far technology has come. The Odroid is ever so slightly ahead. How's that going to seem in real time, though? Let's see what happens. Boom. Odroid is done. Raspberry Pi still chugging along. Still chugging along. Come on, Raspberry Pi. <laughs> I can almost smell the heat coming off of that processor. <laughs> <laughs> and... You can do it. You can do it, right? Come on. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Raspberry Pi pulled it off. Way to go. That's the Raspberry Pi 3. Okay.
So now next up, I want to let's let's try something really really tough. This is a big image, and this is um, obviously going to be really really heavy on any system. I'm going to go filters, and we're just going to add a five percent Gaussian blur. Nice and simple. Oh, what does it say? Failed to run plugin blur gauze. Failed to fork. Cannot allocate memory. This is the Odroid XU4Q that we're looking at. So it looks like I've hit that memory threshold. Um, so can I just hit OK and just do other stuff? How's the responsiveness here? Um, if I'm clicking around, looks like I can still do other things. I have created a rather significant image, though, haven't I? It is responsive. Can I do anything with it? Blur, Gaussian blur. Not going not gonna to do it. So we literally do not have enough memory to be able to work on this image now that it is a ginormous image. We're talking 12,000 by 8,000 uh, pixels. So that is an unreasonable size for, for any case. Let's see if I can do anything at all with it. Blur, no, it's not going to let me do it. So we have maxed out the Odroid XU4. It is still very responsive, though, as you can see. Can I scale down now? Maybe I can scale down. All right, let's jump back over to the Raspberry Pi 3. And we're going to try the same thing. Right click. And Im uh, note filters. Blur. Gaussian blur. What? <laughs> The Pi is going to allow it, and the Odroid XU4 is not? How can that be? Let's get a look at our system tools, uh, system monitor, and see what this is telling me. CPU is really low. Uh, memory, we've, we're using 1.5 gigabytes, 77.4% of the RAM. What does the uh, Raspberry Pi say? Do we have the same tool? We do not. We may need to use uh, HTOP. Jump into the terminal. HTOP tells me that we have used, we've exhausted the RAM completely. Uh, perhaps there's some swapping going on here. Yeah, 18.5 megs has been swapped. Not sure if there's any swap going on with the uh, Odroid XU4Q. There is not. There's no swapping happening, um, and there is still some RAM there. So why is it not letting me go? Filters, blur, Gaussian blur. So that's a disappointing thing right there. And that could be software. That's not necessarily the board itself, but we do need to see in a real-world environment. Now, it was faster. It got me there faster. Mm -hmm. But surprisingly, um, it seems that GIMP doesn't want to proceed. It doesn't yeah. want to go any further. So that's one test where, okay, the Raspberry Pi has passed and the Odroid XU4Q, while it was very much faster in the rescale operation, it, uh, it failed when it came to um, adding the Gaussian blur to that massive image. So let's go back to the Raspberry Pi 3 here. We're going to get back out of that and we're going to go back to a reasonable image size. I'm going to control Z and control Z here. So keep in mind that um, now we're back at a, a standard image size of uh, looks like 3000 by 2000 pixels. So if I did it release the RAM? Let's find out. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it is going to allow me to now that the image is back at a, a more reasonable size. So let's undo everything, get back so that we're, again, comparing one-to-one. -one. Okay, there's that, and there's that. So, Odroid XU4Q. Let's add a Gaussian blur of, what say he? 20%. Let's make it heavy. And the blur method is RLE. I'm using the wrong keyboard there, so I've probably zoomed in on the Raspberry Pi. Here we go. And I've closed out of <laughs> a couple things. No worries. All right. Right click, filters, blur, 
Gaussian blur. I closed my tools there just so you know. Um, that's why the Raspberry Pi now looks a little bit different. But side by side, they are doing exactly the same thing. Raspberry Pi, we're going to go hover over OK. And the Odroid XU4Q, we're going to do the same. And three, two, one. Watch those progress indicators. Again, the XU4Q just blasts past the Raspberry Pi, though the Raspberry Pi is doing very, very well. It seems at the very last second, though, the Raspberry Pi locks up and then waits for a moment, and then the, the, the thing happens, whether mm -hmm. it be blurring or rescaling. Yeah. So I think the, the Odroid XU4Q, I mean, the, the, the one test that it failed is this huge, massive image that nobody's going to ever work with a 12,000 by 8,000 picture on uh, an SBC anyways. You need a supercomputer for that. Yes. But it did fail that where the Raspberry Pi kept going. So, uh, so do keep that in mind that uh, the Raspberry Pi did pretty well. And that is, again, probably an operating system or software uh, difference between them.